using bite effects to explain cracked teeth. Unless you have taken a sharp blow to the front teeth, cracks and fractures are most often seen in the back teeth, that is, your molars. Although these fractures can be the result of chewing, they are more often caused by the effects of malocclusion. A healthy tooth geometry will have many teeth contacting at the same time when you close your bite. This spreads forces across the teeth. Also, your molars will meet peaks to valleys, with the forces being exerted down the length of the tooth. However, if your jaw and tooth geometry is such that some teeth can meet in other ways, they become candidates for fracturing. For example, at night some of your jaw muscles can relax, allowing your jaw to go to its fully seated position. Here, your teeth might come together at only one point, with the two contacting teeth bearing all the closing force of your jaw. If you clench and grind on those teeth for long periods of the night, as you may do, unconsciously trying to remove whatever seems to be stopping you closing your bite, then you can imagine how fractures may start. Similarly, if your front teeth are not preventing your back teeth from contacting when your jaw is moved forwards or to the side, molars can be rubbing continually on each other until one or both start to crack. Cracks can be repaired, but unless the underlying cause is corrected, they are likely to reappear, requiring larger and larger repairs until the whole tooth has to be replaced.